Holla Pete says, your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. Verdict watching still. I was doing some exercises here at the crib because I don't want to go to the gym and the verdict come down and me not be able to get to y'all. I would have to jump off my machine and go get baby to tweet for me. I can't tweet. Okay. Nails too long on the phone. The buttons are too small on the phone. Okay. Frustrating. What the fuck is taking them so long? Why can't they agree that this man is guilty of murder? Something's going on. Yeah, getting little butterflies in my stomach now. It's taking a little bit too long. If they all thought Zimmerman was guilty, they'd have been back by now. Something's going on. I can feel it. Okay. Okay. And I want to go get my workout on at the gym. So bad. Not going to do it. I'm going to stay here with the trial with you guys. I mean, unless it's like ridiculous and it's like noon and we've heard nothing. Then I'll be like, what? Well, it's noon. What if they come back after lunch? We are saddled to our seats. Bam. Locked. Oh, I hope they're not that locked. Oh my god, wouldn't that suck? Maybe they know what they're doing, but they all just want to surprise us and with a guilty verdict. Could be. Tell you what. I think more people, because I've seen a little bit of both on Facebook, more people care for Trayvon than don't. You know, it transcends color, race, creed, all that stuff. What we have here is a dead child who was shot through the heart by a neighborhood watch guy. How can they come back with anything but guilty? Really? How? Has to be guilty. He's guilty. What's that song, Shot Through the Heart? And you're to blame? You give love a bad name? George Zimmerman gives love a bad name. He was not showing love. He was showing bullets. Okay. She does. Where's the love? He gonna sit in the courtroom with his eyes up. Like, I'm proud to be George Zimmerman. How many of us, if we were accused of murdering somebody and it was an accident, how many of us would be in the courtroom like this? I can't believe I did that. You know what I mean? This is 
sorry. Alright, no. Instead, like in his mind, like, yes, I did. Okay, because his iPod was going to hurt me. His Skittles were going to beat me up. Oh, the Skittles Pops commercial. He was scared he was going to get Skittles Pops. That's what it was. Okay. Skittles Pops fear. Why didn't they just go with the Skittles Pops defense? That damn Skittles Pops. Alright, so I'm going to close this down for right now, but more Cherie TV coming at you. You know it. And you know what else? I love you.